Shalom, Akim, this is Yah Batazah coming back with another video. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yah Bashim Shai, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Yah Bashim Yah Washai, Wahabrakakudash, Barakatam, Akim. I'm going to go into a lesson, just basically reminding brothers, even especially younger brothers that are coming into the truth under the, uh, the name of uh, uh, Yah Bashim Yah Washai. Uh, to your teachers and elders of Great Millstone, we uh, recommend and strongly advise you to look up the words and the scriptures, man. You know, go to the Hebrew, the Greek, um, go into the root word, you know, saying that you got to go into the origin, the root of the word, into the etymology of the word. The word etymology means the studying of word, you know, the studying of the word, of a word, you know. So, Cause you got a lot of guys that they don't really know what they're um, talking about. You know, they don't, they're not getting the full proper understanding when it comes to certain topics or subjects according to the scriptures, because you're failing to not look up the word, the meanings of the word. All right. And that's one of the, one of the things that separates us from uh, um, the other camps out there, man, under great millstone. Uh, we look up words, you know, we break down the word, the prefix and the suffix of the word. To get better and proper understanding of what we're talking about and what the word is conveying to us. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to 2 Timothy 2 and 15. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right, so first off the bat, it tells you to study to show thyself approved unto the Most High. So you're going to study, you know, history, you know, started with um, the creation to uh, Adam. You know, you're going to find out the story. Of Adam and Eve and the serpent You know, and you're going to hear a story about Abel and Cain And what exactly happened to Abel and to Cain And how Yahweh uh, banished Cain out of, the, out of the garden Out of the presence, you know Of, him, of, of Yahweh Bashem Shai And from his family And, um, you know, so etc You know, you're going to hear the story about Moses You're going to know the history of Moses And how he passed over the baton to Joshua, you know, um, you know that's that's part of the study, but also you got to study words. All right, you got to go into certain words, you know, and get the proper understanding of what those words mean. When you read the scriptures, you have to go back into the Strong's Concordance. You know, if you don't have a Strong's Concordance like the actual book, then you would be actually using a Blue Letter Bible app or some type of app that helps you. Go back into the Hebrew or the Greek to get proper understanding about that word. Okay. So um, it says a workman that needed not to be ashamed. You know, is don't be ashamed to go in there and start researching. You know, and and, and and getting your hands dirty. You know, get in there. Because even in in the world, you go. You know, you got your um. I'm gonna use like doctors, for example. They have to know every single little thing about the body, the anatomy of the body. You know, whether it be, you know, internally, physically, you know, there's certain doctors that they're obligated to know, um, a, a, you know, if, if not the, the whole, um, the whole spectrum of the body, you know, so you got particular fields that they, um, specialize in, sp in specific areas of, of dealing with the body, you know, like brain surgeon, surgeon, surgeons, um, you know, people that deal with, uh, neurological um, issues and things of that nature, you know, but they practice it to a T and they're not ashamed of it because why? Because that's their craft. That's what their, their, their career is based off of, of their, um, their job, their work, you know, that's what's going to pay the bills. And ultimately they're striving to get that retirement, but real quick, that's what it's talking about. You know, if, if they do it in the world, if you do it in the world to your, your position, your, your craft, that you specialize in how much more to this word it says rightly dividing the word of truth so you have to rightly divide the word of truth even when it comes to uh, words you have to rightly divide them and break them down to gain understanding like i said i made mention of the prefix and the suffix of the word you know it, 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 there are words that are being built in, in, uh, upon other words to give a stronger or, or deeper meaning all right so that's just what i wanted to bring out and real quick i'm gonna go ahead and get one more in uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, and start at verse uh, 9. It says, 
And moreover, because the preacher was wise, right? Because that's that's what you are. You're a preacher, which the preacher means to say before, because it goes back to the word prophesy, you know, or prophecy, which means to see or say before something's going to come to pass. So it says, and moreover, because the preacher was wise, right? King Solomon was wise. So you got to be wise. He still taught the people knowledge. Yea, he gave good heed and sought out and set in order many proverbs. And to understand proverbs, you got to understand those words. If not, you got to understand uh, a part of that. You got to understand the words and you got to understand that uh, particular uh, proverb that had, had, a lot of the time deals with experience. You know, you got you to gotta have um, experience. All right. So it says, verse 10, the preacher sought to find out acceptable words. You see, so not only are we um, supposed to be uh, using acceptable words to convey the message that's easy for the hearer to understand, but also we have to break them down. We have to break down that word for them. All right. Because until they start building themselves up into that, that man to where he is able to research the word. But that's, I just wanted to bring this out for, you know, certain individual men that are, you know, are being forgetful of doing that. You know, you have different tools to help you utilize that, you know, to, to, to increase your learning. You can use the apps, use your tablet, uh, download free apps and dictionaries. Um, you can use a thesaurus, you know, learn your synonyms and your antonyms of the of words, you know, the prefix and the suffix. Go on to the Hebrew and the Greek when it concerns the, uh, the, the Bible, the scriptures. Divide, rightly dividing the word of truth You know So Ecclesiastes 12 and 10 And that which was written was upright Even words of truth You know So um, that's what we're looking for The words of truth Because words don't lie man You know words are words That, that they they have a meaning And a vibration to them So you know You gotta know and understand that And, and, and gain that understanding And uh, take heed to the instructions That are being given to you you know, because we're in a time that we're, uh, uh, knowledge is, is being pushed out.